There's an old country song that says, Love can build a bridge. I mean, how beautiful is that? But let me tell you, there's a flip side to that coin. Because a bridge built at the wrong place and at the wrong time can tear love apart. This is my story. Fall in love, because that obnoxious, acute five-year-old is me, Levi. That's my older brother, JL. Now, we were raised on Collington Island, which is just off the coast of North Carolina. At the time, Collington was known for its booming fishing industries and picturesque long white sandy beaches. Now, commercial long lining is what kept food on our family's tables for generations. That is until the powers that be decided we needed a bridge to connect us to the mainland. Now, what those powers did not know is what happens when you put 10,000 concrete pilings in the middle of fertile fishing grounds. Those fish migrate to more hospitable waters, and fishermen's families are torn apart. For us, it was a two-step process. It started with the bank for closing on the big house, and ended with mom heading to the mainland in search of greener pastures. The most important life lesson I've ever learned is this. Sometimes people leave, and sometimes unexpectedly. Take a deep breath, mourn the loss, and start living again. Dad wasn't going anywhere. New Bridge or not. He'd grown up here just like his dad, and his dad before him. You fished, you lived, and you died on Kong. People on Collington do not go down without a fight. With all the big game fish gone, we turned to crab. Dad knew boats, and he knew them really well. So old man Winky gave him a job on the docks. See your son? You want to work or you just want a paycheck? No sir, I want to work. Come on in. You're going to have a bigger lure, followed by a smaller lure. And I promise you, fish will always hit the smaller lure. JR, Winky, Dad, and me, we were boys. And then there was a girl. I'm Rose. I'm Levi. And when you're 10, love's that easy. I could have stayed in that water forever. to an SOS call from a capsized hobby craft when the collision occurred. Don't take anything for granted. Because you can't choose what happens. You can only choose how you respond to what happens. Boys, let me take you to my favorite fishing spot. Done. Yeah. And in this case, Winky chose to respond by illegally adopting us. Get out! Get out! Don't let anybody see you! Don't let them know you're up there! He said there was no use filling out any paperwork because he didn't like pens, he didn't like paper, and he sure as shit didn't trust the system. All right, and this lever that I told you runs the cable, mm -hmm. it comes off a winch in the back of the boom. And a winch can be two things. It can run a cable, or it can be a woman. Now, I would never say I'm better than anybody. And I would especially never say that about my big brother, J.R. But at this time, I just got dealt a better hand. I had the love of a good woman to keep me on the straight and narrow. And J.R. didn't. Whoa! Don't touch my stuff! I'm going to get cigarettes. OK? Don't touch my stuff. J.R. wasn't going to get cigarettes. He was going to rob a fireworks stand. And that was the last time I saw him. Yeah. 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 
There's something about being in love and laying next to a hot body at night that can make you forget everything. But beware, because when one person is the source of all your happiness, you got all your eggs in one basket. And the world is filled with wolves. And wolves love to eat eggs. Hey, how you doing? I couldn't help but notice your sign. You, you still need a set of hands? Are you looking for work or just a paycheck? Looking to work, sir. Hi! What's your name? Rose! Rose! And you're from here? Yeah? yeah? Your whole life! I met someone. When you know, you just know. You know? The number one problem with young love is that it's fleeting. It's the most powerful emotion, and unfortunately, it can also be the most temporary. You get that magical moment, a weekend, a year, but people change. You can't stop the erosion of time, it just happens. I think it's bad, but let me tell you what hard times are really like. Going through a breakup is like being shipwrecked on the loneliest, saddest, most isolated island in the universe. You can't eat, you can't sleep, you don't care about anything. And the reason is you're in withdrawal. Love is cocaine for your brain. Dopamine, serotonin, and opiates are being created by the boatloads. And when you come off of that, there's nothing left. I'm only doing this because I love you. Levi, your life is your story. Make it a good one. And Winky was right. The only way to break out of that chemical prison that can shackle your brain is to try new things that fire new synapses. Getting out of bed, going running, feeling the sun on your face. Discovering new things and welcoming new experiences into your world. You have to step out into the unknown and just pray the road will rise to meet. And it will. It has to. There's no option for failure. When the time is right, you make your moment. What will come or unfold isn't anything to fear. It's what will become the stories of your life. It's a big world out there. Go get it. Where am I gonna live?